Big Match, 1983, by Yasmin Gunaratne. Glimpsing the headlines in the newspapers, tourists scuttle for cow, cancel their opinions on rooms with view of temple and holy mountain, flash point in paradise, racial pot boils over, and even the gone away boy who had hoped to find lost roots lost lovers, lost talent even, out among the palms, makes timely return, giving thanks that Toronto is quite romantic enough for his purpose. Powerless this time to shelter or to share, we strive to be objective, try to trace the match that lit this sacrificial fire. The step by which we reached this ravaged place. We walk of 48 and 56 of freedom and the treacherous politics. Of language, see the first spark of this hate fanned into flame in 1958. Yet find no comfort in our neat solution no calm abstractions and no absolution the games in other hands in any case these fires ring factory and hall and big match fever flaring high and fast as both side in its grip and premises dizier scores than any at the all in a tall house dim with old books and pictures calm hands quiet the clamoring telephone it's a strange life we are leading here just now not a dull moment no one can complain of boredom that's for sure up all night keeping watch and then as curfew ends and your brave lands dash out at dawn to start another day of fun and games and general jollity. I sent Padmini and the girl to a neighbor's house. Who? Me? Oh, I'm doing fine. I always a drinking man, you know. And nowadays I am stepping up my intake quite a bit. The general idea being that when those torches come within 50 feet of this house, don't you see, it won't be my books that go up first, but me. A pause. Then steady and every bit as clear as thought we our neighbors still as we had been in 58 thanks by the way for ringing there's nothing you can do to help us but it's good to know some lines haven't yet been cut out of the palmyra fences of jeffna crystal a hundred guns shop fronds in the peta landmarks of our childhood curl like old photographs in the flames blood on their khaki uniforms three boys lie dying a crowd looks silently the other way Near the wheels of his smashed bicycle, at the corner of Duplication Road, a child lies dead, and two policemen look at the other way, as a stout man, sweating with fear, fall to his knees beneath a bow tree, in a shower of sticks and stones flung by his neighbor's hands. 
the joys of childhood friendships of our youth ravaged by petties and politics screaming across our screens her agony at last exposed sri lanka burns alive